Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Santa's Workshop here. I got reached out by Vivor, 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 Vever, Vever, we'll call it Vever, to uh, do a little uh, video on the air compressor here. Um, haven't started putting it together yet. Uh, we've got the wheels, the studs, I got one wheel started on this side. Then we've got a little rubberized cap, and I'm sure this goes in right here. It goes underneath the front of this thing to quieten it down just a little bit more. So, I want to throw this in get. Oh, it also come with these. Two little springs. I have yet to find out exactly what that's for. It doesn't mention it in the book. So I'm going to put those to the side, and if I come across the need for them, we'll, find, we'll, we'll get them. Well, I am going to cut the sound because it's going to get noisy, of course, and get this thing put together. Then we're going to plug it in. It's supposed to be 70 decibels, so it's supposed to be really quiet. And what I find interesting about it is in a compressor this size, you usually get one, one piston. This is a dual piston, and the motor, the electric motor, is in the middle. So I am very curious to see how fast this will build air, which, I mean, the pistons are nice sized. The construction is very nice. As you can see here, stainless steel braided lines for the air hose down to one deal. Here is your cutoff switch, your pressure switch. You got your adjustments, you got dual gauges, you've got a blow-off valve right there, and it actually has some air in it. And I believe this will be your on and off switch. But we're going to get it put together. We're going to hook it up, see how fast it builds air, and then I'm going to hook one of my uh, air sanders in right here. We're going to see how if this thing will keep up with one of them because it said it would handle air tools, paint sprayers, just anything you want. And another thing that I've found very interesting, oh, I think I just see where the springs go. They actually go right here on this handle. So, I want to put those in right real quick. Slipping, slip, slip, slipping away. There we go. Now, that works a lot better. Okay, I found where the springs went. So, let's get this thing put together and uh, we'll see what it'll do. And that's the assembly. So, what we got here, we got a handle. You can lay it down, pick it up by the handles here and here, move it around. It is weighty, but it's not that bad. Not really sure what size tank we got here. Not sure on the tank, but it said six gallon. I think that's more probably a four, if I was guessing. Um, air filters, you're going to like this. I want to show you this. Here's the air filter. Fits down inside there. 
screws in. So it has two really nice filtrations. And I think we're about ready to plug it in and see what it'll do. All right. Get back down here where y'all can see me. It's plugged in. That is rather quiet for an air compressor. We're at 30 pounds already. Hardly any vibration whatsoever. I don't know if you can see the dirt on the table. That's a plastic table. We are at 80 pounds. One hundred. Looks like we stopped at one fifteen. So from zero to 115 pounds that quick was pretty good. I, I think that was pretty good. It is quieter. I mean, it's not as loud as mine because if that if I was sitting this close to mine and it was running, you know, there's no way you could hear me. There is no way. All right. Well, hang on for a second. I want to go get my sander. We'll plug it in right there to the port. And we'll fire that thing up and let's see how far this thing, how long this thing will run and if it'll keep up with it. Now, that anybody that works in a, in a body shop will know, this is an Ingalls, 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 blah, 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 blah. It's warm, but it's not even really hot. Most everybody will know that this is an Ingersoll Rand DA sander. DA stands for dual action. You've got a weight that swings around and causes this to go back and forth. And that really helps with sanding when you're doing all sorts of areas. Okay. The compressor is on. Let's see what it'll do. Let her build back up.
115. All right, let me get the camera and I'll give you a little walk around of this thing. Now, I really expected it to do a lot better on keeping up with that, but it got down to 50 pounds and held steady. So if you're using something that takes about 50 pounds of PSI, then you should not have a problem with it. But this is a Vever oil-free air compressor. You know, for a regular garage uh, to air up your tires, to blow things off, I mean, I don't think I would use it for painting or for, you know, running your air tools. You know, well, you could do an impact hammer to take a tire on and off. I don't think that'd be a problem. But here's your dual lines going into the tank. This right here is your pressure switch. Here's your on off switch right there, handy to get to. This is your working pressure. And of course, there's your adjustment. Air, air hose. Now this did not come with an air hose, which, you know, truthfully, I didn't expect it to, but I have seen some that does come with air hoses. Here's your overload protection. So if it, if it starts heating up, working it too hard, right there's your reset. Easy to get to. Now then, of course, you know, this is your working valve. This is your blow off. And under here, you got a brass petcock for drainage. I mean, Vever, I think it's a nice little product. And it doesn't cost that much. I believe it was 189, if I remember correct. But the link to it will be right here and down below in my uh, description page. And uh, I'm going to get my Amazon Associates account up and running that way if you buy one of these it helps the channel and Vevor thank you very much I appreciate you sending it to me it's a decent product and I look forward to seeing how long it's going to last